If Ever I Would Leave You is a great episode of Cheers and one that's a little bit different because our main character is Nick. And it's unusual for Nick to be in an episode right throughout it, but it works really well. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. This is the 20th episode of the third season, directed, of course, by the wonderful James Burroughs. And there will be spoilers as I go through all of the key elements of the episode and share some thoughts. So spoilers from now. And it starts off with Fraser collecting Diane to go and see a film. And then Norm Cliff and Sam start to talk about Coach. This is another episode without Coach. I couldn't remember from the first time watching this season when Coach's final episode was. And I've looked ahead and I won't spoil it, but I will just say we we don't have much Coach left. Granted, we don't have many episodes left of season three. But I like the fact that even if Coach isn't in it, they're still getting some comedy out of Coach. Sam is telling a story about how Coach is visiting his sister and things were, well, pretty funny. And I like the fact they're still able to get comedy out of the character, even if, unfortunately, we don't have Nicholas Colasanto in the episode. And then, of course, the main narrative kicks in and Nick walks into the bar. And I've mentioned this before, and I'll say it again. Dan Hedea gives this amazing performance with Nick. Nick just, he makes my skin crawl. He looks slimy and disgusting. But it's so fascinating and so great and such a wonderful performance that I just can't take my eyes off of him. We learn that Loretta has run out on him. She's joined this singing group and Nick wants Carla back. And the way he spends a lot of time in Cheers is not just stalking Carla because he's got nothing. He ends up doing some odd jobs for Sam and... Throughout the episode, we see him cleaning the bar, cleaning the floors. It's it's actually really nice to see him grafting and doing some hard work. He keeps calling Carla Miss Carla, which is, again, it, it doesn't sit right with me, with the character. It's just a little bit creepy. But within the episode, it works so well. And he tries to convince Carla to take him back. He holds his hand over a flame. And even though this is mostly about Nick and Carla... The the gang at Cheers, as Loretta keeps calling them, which is not incorrect, I guess, are all in this pretty much all of the time. And we have Sam and Diane and Cliff and Norm and sometimes Fraser basically trying to convince Carla to take Nick back. Now, I'll be honest, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that they should be trying to encourage her so much to take Nick back. But at the same time, It is very entertaining, and I love that we have most of the characters in the episode. Things start to shift a bit when Carla crosses the room to spit on his shoes, which doesn't sound like a good thing, but before that, she said she wouldn't cross the room to spit on his shoes. And then she does it, and it's a sign that maybe her mind is starting to shift. And Nick also points out quite rightly, well, no, I don't agree that he should have done this, but it's a fair point that... Other characters have had problems. Sam had problems with drink. Diane spent time in a mental hospital. Yes, he's got problems, but don't we all? Which is kind of what Cheers is all about. And Carla decides to test him to prove to the others that he wouldn't be faithful. And she calls him up when he's in Sam's office and Rhea Perlman gives this great performance, uh, very brief, but, but really great, as she pretends to be Loretta on the phone and I was so desperate for Nick to not come out of the office but he did but then he surprised us all again by not leaving cheers and deciding that actually no he won't run back to Loretta because of course he thought it was Loretta and he stopped himself and then something unexpected happens and the real Loretta turns up. And I actually, it did amuse me when, when Nick called her the real Loretta. Of course, Loretta would have had no idea why he, why he called her that. But at the same time, Loretta's not necessarily in tune with things as it is. And he said, no, I'm, I'm, I, I want to be with Carla. And there is this moment where Carla decides, I'll take, I'll take you back. And for me as a viewer, I hated that. Because while I want her to be happy, 
And if I genuinely thought Carla wanted to be with Nick, then I'd say, yeah, give him a give him a chance if it's what you want. But I think it was very clear that that's not what Carla wanted. She was kind of giving into the pressure that everybody else was putting on her at Cheers. And I feel like, yeah, maybe Norman Cliff and even Diane would put that pressure on her. But Sam, Sam's known her for a long time. He knows how badly Nick treated her. I don't really see why Sam would be encouraging her. But nevertheless... She gives in to the pressure and agrees to take him back. And then Nick learns that the real Loretta wasn't a test. And he starts to act peculiarly and then runs out and screams for Loretta. And it's very clear that everything Carla believed was true. Which, for me as a viewer, I knew would have been the case. I never at any point thought that Nick actually would have been faithful to her. I never really thought that he actually wanted her back. I just feel like he didn't want to be alone, which is understandable, of course. But I don't think that he ever truly wanted her back because because it's Carla. And <laughs> then when everybody realises that Carla was right and they were all wrong, Norm starts to talk about cloud formations, which was very random. And this cloud formation that looked like a sheep, and it, it really amused me. And then right at the end, we have a, a, a small heart-to-heart -heart between Sam, uh, between Diane and Carla, rather, where Diane is basically telling Carla, all of us fall for guys that we perhaps shouldn't. Because at this point, Carla actually started to want Nick back. And then she says that sometimes she even wishes she was with Sam. And then she realizes Sam's behind her and she saves herself <laughs> in the most peculiar way by saying that she was about to say Samurai Fraser Crane, which is just nonsense, but I loved it. So very funny episode, very entertaining. Nick is such a brilliant but disgusting character. But as I said, the performance is just, it's captivating. I hate him, but I can't stop looking at him. And it's just so effective whenever he's on screen. And the same with Loretta. I think Loretta is brilliant. She's played by Jean Kasem. Again, not a very, mostly not a likable character. Sometimes Loretta will say something that I think is actually quite interesting and really, um, unexpected for her but most of the time <laughs> I don't like her but I love the performance so you know if ever I would leave you is is a brilliant brilliant episode and one that's a little bit different